Good morning. Welcome to Dornbush Download number 201. Good morning, Rod. Good morning, Michael. And Rod, one of our, uh, well, I guess one of our favourite companies out there in the uh, healthcare space, uh, Cochlear, uh, coming up with some good um, good numbers yesterday. Some good numbers yesterday. Yeah, they they uh, announced their profit yesterday, $245 million net profit for the year, so, uh, ending 30th of June. So that was good. It was up 10%, but... The market, like it, which was pretty much in the mid mid range of their forecast, but the market uh, didn't like it too much as markets sometimes do. That it was down about three to four percent yesterday. So um, one of the, one of the reasons for that is that uh, like it was a good year, but obviously markets look forward. They're talking about building a Chinese manufacturing plant over the next one to two years, and also develop their IT. So their mid to longer term plans and. The market's looking at mid-term, not so good, but long-term, good prospects uh, when they capitalise on those investments. So, yeah, like, like their, their stock's been up uh, 16% over the last 12 months. So it's been a, like it's a growth stock, not an income stock. Their their, their um, annual dividend was uh, three dollars uh, for the year. Um, so it's, so it's a growth stock more than an income stock. Uh, but yeah, good growth, 16% over the year. Um, and and just the market looks at that. It's had a good year, pulls back a little bit, but. Down, I mean, three to four percent at this stage. So, still, still a good quality company, good long term prospects model. Yeah, no, you're exactly right, right. I think yeah, that that forward guidance that they gave just wasn't quite as as much as what the market was hoping for. I think they came in at around about eight to twelve percent growth. They reckon where the market, I think, probably had them at around fifteen. But um, oh, look, as you say, and and potentially too, I guess you know these little dips um, on you know some disappointment could often be a good opportunity to maybe jump in and um, and grab if you whilst they're down a bit. I mean, they were two hundred and ten dollars, not not a well, not a little while ago. I think they're back to one ninety something like that. Yeah, about one ninety three at the moment. Uh, yeah, that's right. Like you know, they they sold thirty five thousand. Or more than thirty-five thousand implants over the last twelve months, and they're predicting more in the next twelve months. And like, yeah, they're, they're forecasting better sales over the next twelve months. It's just the market. You know, it's had a good run. The market's just taking a bit of a breather. Yeah, at this no, stage. No, no, definitely. And I think yeah, they've they've sold over five hundred and fifty thousand units uh, now since they've uh, since they've come into existence. So quite extraordinary. But uh, but one to keep an eye on for, yeah, sure. for sure. Another company, Domino's, is reported as well. It was a unseasonally hot um, summer over, over in Europe. Yeah, that's right, Rod. And and look, Domino's, uh, you know, probably not in the same vein as Cochlear, but but been a company that's done tremendously well, um, probably up until about twelve months or so ago. Um, but yeah, certainly the result uh, there yesterday, uh, yeah, didn't really appease investors. It was a profit miss. Um, they missed uh, both uh, expectations and also their own uh, guidance. Profit came in at about one hundred and thirty-three million and a bit. Uh, market was looking for about 138 uh, million, um, but yeah, you're right, Rod. The European division, which is now Domino's biggest uh, division, so I, I think from memory, Domino's has around about 2,400 stores under its umbrella, mm-hmm. um, a little bit less, but uh, and and a bit over a thousand of those are, are now in Europe after they took over that uh, that German mob a little while ago. Yeah, so because sure. uh, I hit uh, fairly bad yesterday on the market, about, down about 13 percent at one stage, but but recovered a bit today? Yeah, yeah. they have, uh, Rod, yeah. They're basically back to 51 and a bit. So um, they've pretty much regathered, you know, uh, most of that loss that they had there on that announcement. So uh, uh, again, in the same sort of vein as Cochlear, uh, more a growth focus stock, uh, not a great dividend payer. Uh, historically, they've performed pretty well, again, albeit the last 12 months or so has been a, been a little bit tougher for them. Um, but good management, um, pretty good product, uh, to Rod as well, so we're living uh, proof. Yeah, <laughs> so um, but yeah, one to keep an eye on again on a on a bit of weakness. But yeah, as you've mentioned, they've bounced back and recouped a lot of that uh, that loss from yesterday. So, yeah. um, but still a lot of reports to to come out. Uh, West Farmers look like they they came out with a good result today. Uh, we've got CSL Telstra, a big one tomorrow. So uh, no doubt we'll have a, a bit to talk about uh, next time. Excellent. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.